Hello you wonderful people. I hope all of you have a nice and relaxing weekend. Happy Easter, happy Passover, happy whatever you celebrate or don't. That's all fine. Everyone's welcome. If you don't stay at home like the majority of the world, you are awesome and do an amazing job. You're important not only during this time, but at any times and you should be paid appropriately. I'm rooting for you. Another teabag, teabag painting is waiting for you, my dear friends. This one is a little, bo a little bit more dreamy and like straight from a fairy tale. After preparing the teabag by having it dried, emptying it and glue gluing it to some watercolor paper, it was treated with watercolor ground by Daniel Smith. The watercolor ground has some kind of latex feeling to it when dried. Water flows much more than on usual paper and it's not as absorbent. I use it on so many surfaces, but there is so much more to try. Ideas are flowing. This tea bag shows a starry night with the moon and stars shining from the tea bag tag from the tea bag tag down on the scene. The lines and structures left from the, the from the tea which colored the tea bag, yes, it was a used one, gave me an idea what it wanted to be. The rooftop, chimney and tree were clearly vis visible. And oh, what is there? A shadow with a fishing root and a star. To paint the scene, I used a mix of gouache, watercolors and gold paint, depending on whether I wanted the paint to be transparent or opaque. So technically, this is a mixed media project. When painting on tea bags, I think a lot about the artists who create art using trash. Like the one who had an installation which was actually rotting inside. I'm sure mine won't do that, as I had the tea bag dry properly and ep emptied it before using it for, for um, this project. But the thought sticks. This dreamy one I liked so much that I've already prepared three more tea bags to make um, to make it a mini mini series. Do you think they are nice enough to put them in the shop? Would anyone be interested? Same goes for all the other paintings, of course. Let me know. This week's shout out goes to Turquoise Dreams. Be you? By you? Sorry if I can't pronounce that right. A lady from India. Who paints very colorful pieces inspired by her culture. She also presents journals with lovely inspiring qu quotes. If you like, if you like that, take a look. I'll link her down below. By doing these shoutouts, I want to help the community to help the community grow and grow together. So if you like one, a shout out I mean. Leave a comment below or tag me on Instagram to let me know. If you have any questions about anything, send them to me and I'll try to answer all of them. I hope you all you are well and healthy and wish you all the best. Wash your hands, have a wonderful time, be strong, be socially distant, be creative. I hope to see you soon. Bye.